So what is this rope for? Hey y'all, I am James Wright and welcome to my shop. This is going to be a slightly interesting video because I am going to be talking about a power tool. Um, now, no, I am not going to power tools. This will remain a hand tool shop, but I want to show you some comparisons and actually do a little bit of a test between hand tools and power tools and see what can it actually do and is there any benefit to that. Now, over the last year, I've been producing three videos every week and this has been a lot of work and I, I mean a lot of work. like. Uh, 50 to 60 hours a week plus. And that is a lot of fun for me, but in some ways that's a little bit limiting, especially when I'm making large furniture projects, which a lot of people have been asking me to make more furniture. The problem with furniture is you normally end up making four of any particular piece, or in the case of the dresser, 40 of any particular piece. And I can shoot the first piece, but then every piece after that, it isn't creating any video. And so it's wasted time in the shop. I'm not actually creating anything for a video content. And I'd like to find a way to speed up that process and still showing how it can be done with hand tools, but being able to put out more videos for you. So um, I've been thinking about getting a planer. But I really don't like the idea of getting a planer in the shop. Uh, well, number one, I don't want to devote more space to the shop for a full planer because once you get a, you know, a planer, then you have to have dust collection and it just becomes a mess, especially down here in the basement. And I don't want to deal with that. And on top of that, if I were to get a cheap lunchbox planer, you know, I can do it with a scrub plane much faster than I can do it with a, with a, a lunchbox planer. They're just not able to take off a large cut um, fast enough and this actually can do a deeper cut than most lunchbox planers for you know the the two to three hundred dollar price range but in order to get a larger planer that can do that then I'm spending you know a thousand dollars two thousand dollars plus dust collection and I'm taking up a large chunk of my shop and I don't want to mess with that it, it defeats the whole purpose of a hand tool shop the other option is I could go with a powered hand planer, but a powered hand planer will not do anything near as fast as a scrub plane will do. And uh, honestly, there, there's no reason for me to get a, a powered hand planer that can, you know, I can do it faster with this. What's the point in getting that in the shop? But then I was looking at Triton and found this beast. It's a seven inch wide handheld planer. So I mean, larger than most large jointers um, and handheld, uh, three blade, massive amount of power. And I thought, you know, if there's anything in the shop, this might be the beast that can fill that void in between. So I kind of want to go into and see what is the difference in speed between a, a scrub plane and a beast like this. So to test those pieces, I have this slab of cherry. Um, it's currently a little over five quarters thick. Um, it has a severe twist in it, almost a quarter inch of a twist. So I'm gonna end up taking a quarter inch off one side and a quarter inch off the other side. About 36 inches long, about 16 inches across, and I'm gonna flatten this. So one side I'm going to do with the power planer and see how fast that goes. And the other side I'm gonna do with a scrub plane. And we're actually going to get a side-by-side -side comparison and see if that has any uh, space in a hand tool shop. Let's take a look. So let's start this off with the traditional method. I'm gonna be using a scrub plane and getting the surface fairly smooth. Now there's a very large twist in here. There's also a cup in here, so I'm low right here. And then on this side, this whole side is twisting up. So there is a lot of material that has to be taken off over here, across this side and across this side. Uh, I'm about a quarter inch, actually almost a full half inch um, on this corner has to come off to make this thing flat. So let's jump into it with a scrub plane and see how we go. Now I have a whole video on actually dimensioning lumber by hand, so I'm not going to go into that in great detail here other than to explain that I'm just hitting the high points and trying to take off the material that needs to come off. And so you can see as I transverse across the, point, uh, across the board, um, I'm skipping the part in the middle which is because that's low. And so slowly as I work from one side to the other, I'm actually jointing this whole thing flat or planing it flat. But of course, I'm always coming back with winding sticks and straight edge and checking out where I need to clean up. And then in this case, in order to make it a fair comparison, I'm coming through with a number four and a half, just taking off most of the ridges from the scrub plane and giving it a fairly similar finish to how the power plane will end up. And uh, this is still fun. Okay, it's a lot of fun. 
<laughs> but then you can see in the end, it's nice and flat and a perfectly good board ready for use. So for the other side, it was about 15 minutes, 35 seconds uh, with a scrub plane and then just a quick smooth over with a four and a half to get it ready for well, it's a nice flat side. And so one of the cool things about using a hand plane, a power plane, is that I can still use winding sticks and work the exact same way I would with a hand planer, um, but I can do it in this way. So I'm still clamping it to the table. I don't have to worry about a whole other planer and I can actually tell what I need to do with winding sticks just like I would uh, with a hand plane. The other downside is I need PPE. So let's uh, fire this up and see how long this beast takes. So I'm going to be doing basically the exact same thing I would with the hand plane I'm only with a power planer, so I'm taking off the high points and kind of working those down and making everything, um, well, flat. <laughs> um, but in this case, I'm not going to go across the board as I would with a scrub plane. I'm going to stay end to end, and it will kind of joint itself, um, so it, uh, it will actually miss the low spots and hit the high spots. And so I'm taking off this ridge that's running right down the middle of the board. Once I start to get it fairly well flat, then I can take several passes all the way across it and make sure that everything is the way it needs to be. Here you can see it running at full speed um, and I'm taking a fairly heavy cut. I think I'm on the maximum depth here. Um, and also it has this little foot that sticks out so when I set it down on the bench I'm not going to be digging into the bench. kind of like that little feature. Um, but then just like with the hand plane I'm coming back in with winding sticks and checking to make sure everything is true, seeing where I still need to hit and what still needs to be changed. And this way I can make sure that it is perfectly flat. Oh, the quiet is nice. <laughs> so with the power planer, it ended up taking me about half the time. Uh, it was 7 minutes, 25 seconds with the power planer, as opposed to the 15 minutes, 35 seconds with the scrub plane. And, uh, you know, that really isn't a huge amount. If I'm doing one board, I'm probably still going to pull out the scrub plane because it's quieter, it's a little bit more fun. And really, that's what my channel is all about. It's about the fun of woodworking. And if something isn't fun, um, then find another way to do it. So for one board, um, I think it's more fun to use the scrub plane. It's going to cost me about seven minutes, but oh well, it's seven minutes. Now if I'm doing a dresser and I have 40 of these to do, um, that's a lot of time. And let me tell you, an entire day with a scrub plane is not fun. And I don't really like, you know, spending an entire day with a scrub plane. And that's where this beast comes in immensely handy. And this will allow me to do more furniture builds. So am I going to be using this all the time? No, um, it is going to be an extra thing so that when, when the work that I have at hand is no longer fun, then I can pull out the power tool and go at it. Or when I have a whole bunch of them to do and I only videoed the first one, I can pull out this and go at it. Now you can see I am still sweating even after using this. It's a lot of work, especially with PPE, it kind of uh, warms you up a little bit. Um, so there's give and take to each one. And I, I wanna say that woodworking is not about a specific way to do it. In my mind, the shop is about fun. And if you're not having fun, find another way to do it. Find something else that's a little different. And you might find that everything just kind of clicks and you want to be down the shop more. So, yeah. So there you go. Scrub plane versus power plane. Uh, power plane is faster, about 50% uh, faster. So this took me about a little over seven minutes and this took me a little over 15 minutes. Um, but the scrub plane for one board is a little more enjoyable. It's quieter, there's less setup time. You just grab the plane, sharpen it and go. Whereas with the power plane, you have to hook up the dust extraction or in this case, just a shop vac. Um, it's louder, so you have to have PPE and uh, there's a, just a few things about it that make it a little less fun for some things. But if I'm doing a whole bunch of boards, this is no longer fun and a lot of work. Whereas this then uh, brings back in a little bit of that fun. Being able to munch through boards quickly and then set them up and show, this is what I accomplished today. That is a great and wonderful benefit. And so really, this is what I would consider to be the only major power tool that I would have in my shop right now. Um, it, <laughs> It doesn't take up the space of a large planer. It still functions and works much like a hand planer in that you work your board um, as, a push, as opposed to putting the board through the, the, uh, the tool. And it's just a little bit more fun. And I really like it, especially with this beast of a planer. Um, this will actually save time, whereas most of the small hand planers really won't save time. And for the price, um, especially if you're comparing it to like a lunchbox planer or something like that, this is phenomenally cheap. 
um, and a great, great deal for what you get for the money. So I hope you like this. It's been a little bit of a different video, um, some interesting ideas, and I'm hoping to do more furniture builds in the future, and this will allow me to do that. So I can video them up front and then show, Ed, you know, I did the first two boards with this. I'm going to do the rest of them with this. And hopefully get a few more videos out that you guys have been asking for. So that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a fun one, an interesting one at that. If you did like the video, please hit like and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, I want to say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason that this channel exists today. If you'd like to find out with that, you can click the link right over here. Also, if you like this video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.